After almost five weeks on the road, we successfully made it to Sydney and made our way to Wake Up Hostel to check in. Wake Up won Best Large Hostel in the World a couple of years ago and it's easy to see why. There's a really great atmosphere there with hundreds of backpackers from all over the world staying on seven levels. The best places to mingle are on the comfy beanbags in the TV room on level one or they even have their own bar downstairs, Sidebar, which has food and drink specials, great DJs and cover bands, theme nights and giveaways. We also stayed one night on Cockatoo Island, which is right in the middle of Sydney Harbour. It was amazing. The island has a lot of history. It was originally used as a prison, then as a reform school, followed by a shipbuilding base for the Navy. We stayed in the campsite overnight and it was amazing being on an island with only about 10 other people. It was so cool wandering around all of the abandoned buildings at night time. The views were amazing and it was such a contrast to the pace of the rest of the city. In the morning we did a really interesting audio tour and learned about the island. Then we headed to the world famous Bondi Beach for a surf lesson with Let's Go Surfing. It was really cool. We were in a group with a few other backpackers from around the world and our instructor Lockie helped us a lot with our technique and reading the waves. We surfed on Bondi! Our final experience in Sydney was a bridge climb on the Sydney Harbour Bridge. We went up the pylon while it was still light and then started climbing the bridge at sunset. By the time we got to the top it was dark and the lights of the city looked amazing. 